you're tuned in to the Restaurant Rockstars podcast. Powerful ideas to rock your restaurant. Here's your host, Roger Bodwin. Hi, everyone. Before you listen to today's episode, I'd like you to think about Las Vegas. Whether you've been there or not doesn't matter. The point is, everything about Las Vegas is an attraction, and so should your restaurant. It's all about presentation and creating a little magic. Magic that catches your customer's eye, magic that fuels their imagination, and magic that creates an extraordinary experience. One they'll remember, and one that brings them back. This is a powerful idea to set your restaurant apart from the competition. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast and go put some magic to work in your restaurant. Hey, it's Roger from Restaurant Rockstars back at you. Today I want to talk about what I call wow factor. When I was starting my first restaurant so long ago, I made it clear to my kitchen staff that every dish, each and every dish coming out of the kitchen had to have what I call wow factor. Now that meant that every portion size, presentation, everything about the dish, the look, the smell, the taste of every item had to make the customer say to his table, wow. Now quickly this became a hook in my restaurants and those that followed. Now, I love to talk to operators and managers about the power of hooks, and your restaurant simply can't have too many hooks. So I talk about hooks all the time. A hook is anything unique, exciting, powerful, that sets your restaurant apart from the competition that your customer will talk about. Now, hooks build customer loyalty and the all-important Word of mouth marketing. Now, you guys know that word of mouth is the most powerful form of marketing. It's your most cost effective form of marketing. It doesn't cost a lot of money, and literally, your staff and your customers spread the word about what's great about your restaurant. And hooks are just one way to get them talking. Now, why not sit down with your team and have a regular brainstorming session? Talk about what's really special about your place that the entire staff can talk about with your customer. Don't overlook all the other powerful ways that you can present your hooks, like table tents and menus, chalkboards, signs, any other internal marketing ideas you can think of, all present your hooks to the customer, and the customer is interested. It's just something that sets you apart from the competition. Now let's get back to the wow. So once the plate presentations were creating excitement and buzz, I started to think about creating wow everywhere in the restaurant. The front entrance, the host counter, the dining rooms, the bar, the bathrooms, you name it. We looked at the whole place and we said, how can we present wow everywhere? And I was actually thinking about Las Vegas. Now, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not suggesting that you, you know, build a casino in your restaurant, although the cash flow would be nice. No, what I'm really talking about is everything about the famous Las Vegas Strip is about dazzling your eye, creating excitement, and compelling your customers to spend money. So my team and I looked at every area of the restaurant and the bar. Don't forget the bar because the bar is a big profit center. Look at your entire operation and apply this concept of creating wow. Now first it starts with your staff and training is super important. We talk about training all the time because training every single day empowers your team. It, It just makes your team just give a better experience to your customer. So right from the get-go, I trained my staff to be entertainers on stage because I've always believed this business was about entertainment. Now, besides that, I wanted them to be attentive to every customer's need, to be personable, and to present their unique personalities to the guest. And this served us so well. This set our restaurant apart. It became our restaurant's secret weapon and a powerful competitive advantage. Now, the signature dish that built my restaurant was wood-fired brick oven pizza. So, you know, doing things the real old-world Neapolitan way was a hook. We built our brick oven right in the middle of the dining room. That was a huge hook. And quickly, customers were so interested, they would walk right up to the oven. 
And I train my staff to interact with the customer, to entertain them, to educate them about what the oven does, how it works, you know, it's burning at 900 degrees, how long it takes to cook a pizza, all that stuff. And the customers were interested. Okay, so that was a huge hook. We had a large hostess area, and it certainly didn't hurt that we created lots of appealing retail merchandise, hoodies, t-shirts, sweatshirts, pint glasses, all this kind of stuff that were impulse sales items. And when the guests came in the restaurant and left the restaurant, they'd have to pass right through the gift shop, okay? And that was a huge profit center for the restaurant. Anybody can do this. Our location was at a ski resort. We actually installed a snowmaking gun on the dance floor and the machine actually made snow while people were dancing you know that was a huge hook everybody talked about that are you getting the picture here every day in our restaurant exciting things were happening all over the place it gave people things to talk about and dining out in our restaurant was an event it's all about the wow whether your hooks are as dramatic as these or more subtle to fit your brand and theme it's all about the wow I've always believed that dining out in any restaurant should be an event. So create events. And this is what I look for when I dine out in any place USA or really anywhere in the world. Listen, a restaurant should provide endless reasons to dazzle the customer, invite them back, and create affinity. There really is no greater, more cost-effective form of marketing than that simple idea. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, please give us a review on iTunes, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Rockstars. I hope you found your gears turning with new ideas to dominate your competition. You know, a little creativity and a little magic, and soon you'll have lines out your door. Intrigued by this idea? How about three more? Go to my show notes to this podcast and click the link for my free audio training to make your restaurant more money. I'll see you there. Thanks for listening to the Restaurant Rockstars Podcast. For lots of great resources, head over to restaurantrockstars.com. And while you're there, download a copy of the book, Rock Your Restaurant. It's a game changer. See you next time.